Welcome back to another Zen Trap Chat. I'm one of your two hosts, Yogi LG. Zen P. Hey, we're here to just catch up with you, talk a little bit. P, what's been going on with you? How you been living, man? Nothing, man. Still living this tribal life. Taking it one day at a time. Um, sure. Just again, man. Taking it one day at a time. Trying to focus on what I control, what I, what I can't control and stuff. Just letting it go. Um, you know, same old stuff. Uh would say I have a routine by now, but I don't. It's just still uh, the the change is getting to me, but um, it's definitely getting a little bit more solid. I'm definitely figuring out some pieces I can keep and can't keep. So uh, just just focusing on that, exercising a little bit, trying to eat right and, and with, with the country's changing, but just doing what I can. What about you? How's everything going? I was going good. I think like uh, me having physical therapy three times a week is very good as far as consistency for me. So I know, it, you know, I at least have a routine with that in the mornings. Um, I was trying to get to do that every day uh, just because I want to kind of do some type of therapy every day, even if I'm not going in. So that's good. Um, I feel like I'm definitely getting consistent with that. But the days are still, you know, it's, it. the more active I get, the more I'm out doing stuff. And so days get more inconsistent, which is cool, but just trying to maintain like um, my, at least my morning type routine. Um, But, you know, still a work in progress. I am steadily recovering, steadily getting better each and every day. I can see my knee progressing, which is almost amazing to watch. Amazing. Uh, Especially the non-surgical route. That's crazy how the body can heal itself. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I got to uh, 120 degrees range in my knee today. They measured today, so that was super good. What's the what's I'm the most what's that. the most range? Uh, I, I mean, mean you I can't really go 360. No, nah, I can't. I can't even go 180, really. Um, but you know, 160. I just I just like didn't know like what what the max what's was. The max? Yeah, like 120 sound good, but it's like oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, I, I think the like. max is probably like. 140 or something. I don't know what my other knee is. I had to get back to you on that. I don't okay. know. But it's, it's something a little bit more than that. Because, I mean, technically, well, I'll say this. your knee straight is 180, in, right? No. I mean, yes. But I'm talking about my knee bent yeah. backwards. I know. I was trying to go from a baseline. Yeah. Straight is... Is straight 180? I guess. What's, what's straight? That's something, or is it zero? Technically, it's... Straight is zero. I, well, say that then. Like, what... <laughs> I mean, technically, straight is 180. Straight is also zero. I'm confused, but okay. Yeah, that's just how degrees work. Straight is 180, and straight is also zero. We're taking it from straight being zero. Okay, if you take it from straight being zero, is that you with your face down, laying down, and your knee got to go up? No. no, this is me on my back with my legs straight and me pulling my heel towards my butt. Okay, so zero's over here and one eighty's over here. And you coming down to one twenty. Sure. I have no idea how you view it. Then why are you saying sure so- then? No, you don't know. <laughs> Cause I literally You're cannot, laying like, down, instead. your knee goes like that. No, no, no. My knee comes up like this. What did I just do with my finger that was different than yours? You said down. I went like I this. Because I'm not hanging my like it's not hanging. Like, just imagine I'm flat on a table, and I got to pull my heel towards my butt. Oh, like okay. Cool, table. cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I, you done lost me with the degrees then. I don't even know how they measure in degrees with your knee going up. but Yeah, they do. They got some special tool that they put at, like, my hip, and then they kind of look at the angle from, like, my hip to my knee or something like that. Okay. And that tells that definitely don't make sense to me now. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would be hard to explain. But yeah, I'm, I'll say this: when I first went in, I was at like forty degrees. That was like what forty four, degrees four look like with your finger? Uh, uh, like that. Let's see. I can't keep my knuckles straight. That's hard to keep my knuckles straight. But uh, like yeah, like that. That's like, so man. confusing. You went from forty to one twenty. I gotta know what the max yeah. is because what's ninety <laughs> yeah. look like? What's ninety look like? 
uh, 90 looks like this, like just a 90 degree angle. So 90, your, now, your, le- your leg is making like a triangle on, on the table. Correct. Even when 120 is making a triangle, it's just more acute, if that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to have to do some Googles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty interesting dynamic, but it's something that I try to do every Friday. My goal is to like improve at least five to 10 degrees each week. Um, so I definitely been... I've made some big jumps, so that's good. That's great. For sure. All right, so I got I got a couple questions for you, or at least a couple thoughts that I want us to uh, talk about today. Um, I know, like travel, and even within the last year, we both have changed a lot, done a lot of things, um, and so just even for myself, everything's a lot different for me. What are if you were to describe who you are, or kind of like your morals? Or what you stand for in three words, what would it be? My morals in three words? Kind of what you, what, what you're all, describe yourself maybe, or, or your life in three words. I'm going to give you an example, and I'm going to tell you where I took this from too. I watched The Best Man Holiday the other day, and it was just. Oh my God, Faith they Family Football? Around. Yeah, there you go, God Family Football. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your God family football? What's what's kind of your three, I guess? That's tough. And then when you compare it to that, if I don't say God. Uh... I mean, you don't got to say God. Like, uh, some of them didn't say God. Some of them said, like, you know, I think uh, Terrence Howard said something like. Pussy something, pussy. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Uh, definitely going to start with faith. Uh, faith uh, keeps me doing stuff i'm a believer in god um so i'm I'm gonna say faith faith is number one um hmm, two more for faith i'm gonna say awareness uh i know that's a buzzword these days very popular amongst people but I think if I'm talking specifically about myself, uh, I've been kind of focused on like awareness and self-awareness and stuff for a long time before it became like a buzzword. So faith, awareness, and um, I'm going to say gratitude, but I want to explain when I say gratitude, I mean in terms of like uh being humble and service to others and stuff like that like uh whether it's family friends strangers uh gratitude in the sense of helping the fellow man out so faith awareness gratitude what about you okay um mine would probably be uh connection and that's connecting with God, connecting with the universe, connecting with people, the relationships in my life. Like I, I really value connection. Um, so connection. Um, my second one would probably be giving. Um, and that that includes giving my love, giving my time, even giving to my fellow man, like serving. Um, and then my last one would probably be authenticity. Um, just me being authentic, encouraging others to be authentic, making a safe space for people to feel they can be them auth- their authentic selves, but authenticity. Oh, you had time to think about this. Those are good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I feel like those have absolutely shifted. And that, and for me, would you say yours have shifted in the past five years or two years or whatever? Yeah, a hundred percent. I don't know if I would have said the same answers. I definitely probably would have kept the, kept the faith one, the awareness one, and um, gratitude definitely uh, would would definitely have came in the past year. So I don't know what I would have said five years ago. Honestly, uh, yeah, I might have even thrown like not necessarily money, but I wouldn't throw some kind of security type in there. Um, but I, yeah. For, for sure have changed. Yeah, absolutely. My perspective has changed on that as well. And that kind of leads into my next question. Um, so do you feel like, um, I mean, we all feel like our values change as you go on, but what do you feel like has been a pivotal moment um, in your life that caused your values to shift or that changed you in general? Like some people may say like, oh, my parents got divorced a long time ago. That shifted me. 
Um, and I've even known some people to say, like, my parents got divorced in my adulthood. Even though I was grown, it really shifted my perspective on things. Um, or it could be an injury or it could be a, a financial struggle or financial success. Like, this shifted my values and kind of how I thought and felt about life. What has been one of those most pivotal moments for you? I don't think my values have shifted every time something has happened like that, mm-hmm. but my perspective has shifted. And I think that's like similar to what you're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 Cause like, well, well I guess give me a moment in which you can recognize like, Oh, the, I know this caused my perspective to yeah, shift. I just wanted to clarify that. Like for me, my values haven't shifted that much, whether that's good, right, wrong, or indifferent. My values have been pretty consistent. It's my perspective that's been constantly kind of changing from random moments. So one moment I can definitely say um, was the spiritual retreat we went on. That that was a big perspective shift for me. Um, getting out of a relationship uh, has been a perspective shift. Um, let me think. Uh before the spiritual retreat, like that whole, the pan, during the pandemic and that whole uh, time frame where, like I said, I was probably, I wouldn't even say I was necessarily, yeah, no, I was probably in the worst shape of my life, but I, I, I yeah, I was in the worst shape of my life. I was in the worst shape of my life. I was stagnant with work, like work felt very mundane, same old thing every day, stuff that used to take me 10 minutes to do it was taking me like an hour, two hours just because I'm procrastinating or just because I really not motivated to do it. Um, being in the house all the time with yourself. And and even though I might have kept a, a good attitude through it, I still felt a different level of like depression in it. Like uh, just completely unmotivated, uh, not wanting to not wanting to really like work on myself like that or do anything like just. So I think. Uh, like those were very like pivotal moments that helped open up my perspective to different stuff and trying to figure out how to stay consistent in that and and focus more on like my health, physical, spiritual, mental, all of that stuff. What about you? Yeah. So kind of being in that low point gave you a perspective of like, I don't want to be here anymore. So it kind of shifted you in that way. Yeah. It gave me a, a, perspective of like how did I get here uh what what like really focusing on what this feels like um why I'm here how I can try and prevent being in that spot again or if I inevitably and I ain't gonna say it's inevitable but if I do get back to that spot what's a quicker way to get out of it like what's something that I can recognize that I'm in that spot and be able to jump out of it before it gets so bad so I I think it was it's again a great opportunity for me to learn more about myself so that was a big perspective change yeah I would say one of the biggest uh, moments for me, and I'm sure like this may be cliche, but maybe not, was like going to college. Like I was very, I think you say this all the time about me in general, is like you have a very close knit group of friends and like the people that you are around have a similar life as you. So your perspective may not be as wide, right? In certain situations. And I think when I went to college, even though I went to a black college, so a lot of people were still similar to me, it still opened my mind up to that concept. Before I went to college, it was like, yeah, pretty much everybody in the world is this similar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, I know a thousand like percent that. what you're saying. Because even five years ago, yeah. you still was in this little, like, <laughs> bubble of, like, uh, you think everybody's just like your friends. And I'm like, you don't realize that you, even though you are open to connecting with everybody, the people that you are connecting and close with, you're connected and close with them for a reason, and they have some yeah. similar characteristics yeah. about and them. I'm, I'm drawing these type of people and you just to me saying this is how everybody is. Hell no, yeah. hell no. So I think college was a pivotal moment in shifting my perspective on like how you do things, how you can do things, how you can choose to live. Uh, but definitely, go ahead. No, keep going. Oh, definitely, like quitting my job and. Uh, this injury, all all this kind of the last three months probably has shifted my perspective in another way. Like, uh, like even how I handle anxiety, how I handle uh, just struggling through things, or how I persevere um, and keeping my mind sound and like my my peace. Uh, realizing like that I'm capable of doing that has given me a different shift on like even how I view myself. So I feel like me moving forward is just totally, 
it's just so different for me uh, in general. So I think that's a big perspective, perspective shift. Um, those two moments are two that I can think of that were super pivotal. Yeah. If I can comment on that, and I would love to hear what you think about more about your college perspective shift. I think your college perspective shift allowed you to be more authentic to yourself from a perspective of other people where you were like looking at other people and saying like, oh, okay, I don't necessarily have to be like, X, Y, and Z, I can really just do what I want to do because I now I see all these different types of black people instead of coming from Georgia where I kind of see the same type of black people. And it's like, uh, I don't have to necessarily be like that. I can do it my own way. And then compared to the other perspective that I was talking about with you was like, now it wasn't more so about changing yourself. It was about realizing that, oh, all my friends are more similar than I think they are. I'm thinking I have this very different diverse diverse group group of friends friends when if i talk about who they are as people it's really like the same type of people so i'm comparing the world to these very similar personality types and the world is not like that like would you say that's fair yeah um i think yeah i think i think that's what college kind of taught me uh and it was definitely like I almost didn't think that the other way of doing things was even the right way. Like Correct. in my mind, I came into college thinking like, this is how I, I use something simple. This is how you are supposed to fry chicken. This is how chicken is fried. And then I taste somebody else chicken and I'm already like hesitant. Like you cannot fry chicken like that. And then I taste it and be like, Oh, huh? You can't fry chicken like this. Who would have thought that I thought the way I learned, the way I was taught by my mom, the way my, my friends did it, my siblings did it, my cousins did it. That's the right way to fry chicken. And so it just kind of totally opened up my perspective to, Lindsay, receive what other people are saying and you don't have to compare it to what you know and what you've learned. Like you can take that at face value because you don't know. You don't know every way to do everything. I Honestly, it's kind of was like a know-it-all type situation. Like I just believed that this is the right way and this is how you were supposed to live. This is how you're supposed to do things. And it totally just was like, oh, all right, cool. Not only do I not have to live that way, but I can also receive other people living that way and not be like, oh, you ain't supposed to do that that way. Yeah. It was like a, almost like a judgment thing. Like yeah. I was I'm not really judging them, but just kind of like making an opinion on how they did and how they did certain things or how they lived their life. Well, I was going to just say more that, when you had that perspective change, and, and again, it could just be more so just like uh, growing up from college type thing that yeah. I didn't know you that well freshman year, but I can definitely say that from the little I did know you to like senior year was night and day differences from you. Like, yeah. I don't, not necessarily, it's changing, but not necessarily changing in a good or bad way, just completely like different. So I could just tell that like your perspective necessarily had to kind of have changed for you to be oh, like, yeah. I ain't gonna say you moving different. You you just a completely different person from freshman year to senior year. Like that would be. What would uh, senior year Lindsay tell freshman Lindsay? And I guess I wouldn't even say senior year. I like let's just do it from now. What would Lindsay okay. now talk to the freshman year Lindsay about? You going into college? What would yeah. what what are I'm gonna just say two. I only want to say three. What are two pieces of advice? If you only could say two, like two pieces of advice to give freshman year Lindsay, what would you tell her? Listen more than you talk. She been Absolutely. she been listening to podcasts. <laughs> um, listen more than you talk, and probably. Um, dang, I was I was absolutely a totally different person, but uh, live for yourself. I was also in a relationship when I came into college from high school. You ain't got to explain. You ain't got to explain that. You ain't got to live for yourself. <laughs> Live for yourself. <laughs> I'll just play it. Uh, touche. No, yeah, but I think I was absolutely locked in on that relationship at the time. And I, I lived for that relationship more than I did myself. So a lot of things I wasn't even receiving freshman year because I was just focused on that. Um, but I think that if I could give her two pieces of advice, it would be listen more than you talk and live for yourself. Solid. So. What about you? Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, freshman P is. I mean, I'm not saying that you ain't grown, but you you've kind of you're 
Uh, You're still coming across a little judgy here. You might need freshman Lindsay. Freshman Lindsay still in there. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, as big of change as I noticed in myself, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I saw that big of change in yourself from freshman year to senior. Damn, I was the same. Did you nigga, agree with huh? that? Nah, you you just came in so much ahead of me. I had so much stuff to. I had so much like I had to catch up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean I appreciate that, but I think yeah. I was, man, yeah, I was I was different. I feel like not. I guess maybe not a ton to the outside world, but definitely. Yeah. Inside, inside a little bit and by different i was just more mature like more mature yeah, and stuff so uh i think what i'm saying is i did like a whole personality change. yeah but like, it's it's my personality me, me, it, first of all i'm not a gay woman coming out of high school and stuff it, so <laughs> naturally coming into college that is very already open for you to like what i'm saying is you have the potential already coming into college to have a bigger change a bigger than me. Change. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I got yeah, I agree. Me coming agree. from high school, you know what I'm saying? Me coming, yeah. I can already freely do what I want per se and not get judged by yeah. the world and stuff like that. So, you already have some kind yeah, of yeah. I box agree on that. your shoulder that you can like lift. I'm just coming in already yeah. all willy nilly. So, it's not, <laughs> but yeah. And that's kind of what I mean, but like I had more, you know what I'm saying? My, yes, my potential. I understand that. Greater. Completely. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, yeah. you asking me what would I two pieces of advice I would give myself first man? Yeah. Um yeah. I think I would take something you told me, but I would make sure I, I conveyed it the right way. I would say focus more on like the lesson than the grade. So like I still would say mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, strive for the good grades, you know, time management, all the stuff everybody else is saying, but make sure you're focusing on getting the lesson out of the class than just necessarily getting the grade. Like focus on both. Like and if in, yeah. and if anything, it, it's tough. It's tough. Cause honestly, the, honestly, don't let society fool you. The information is more important for the long run. The grade is more important for the short term. Because without yes. the grades, you might not necessarily get the opportunity for a job. But without the information, you might just be mediocre at the job. So it's like you kind of need to make sure you're playing both. Like, don't get me wrong. The grade is important because without the grade, you might not even get the look whether you're smart or not. But yeah. without the information, you're probably just going to be mid. So just want to make sure that, like, you kind of understand the balance in those. Um, yeah. Secondly... Um, Mm, it's hard. I'm trying to think of something because I came into college with like a strong focus and mantra of I ain't going back to a husky. <laughs> so I got to do good in college. Like I got to get out. I'm not going back. Yeah. And I came into college that like, I think watching a lot of TV and stuff, people were always, uh, and just in, in life in general, when you talk to the average person, they would always say the best time of their life was college. I hated hearing that. You really hated it. You live for on average 50 years, let's say 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You telling me the best time of your life was at from 18, 18 to, 20, to 22. Oh no, that was I, I didn't like that. And again, I'm not gonna rain on nobody praying, so I wasn't I would never just be like super vocal about it, but oh no, nah. I want the best time of my life to be all my years after college was my main focus. So I was like, I'm a focus in college. And I'll say, I definitely, clearly, you you knew me. I'm I'm definitely not the like strict. All I got to do is focus on college. I'm still gonna have my balance, have fun, work hard, play hard, all of that type of stuff. But I would say I gave it a good 60, 40, 70, 30. Like 70, percent I'm focused on college. 30, percent I'm gonna still have fun, make sure I'm making memories, make sure I'm making connections. Yeah. So I just I already had that going in there for me, where I'm like, nah, I got to get out. I want to get a good job, and then after I got the good job. Nah, I can act crazy or whatever. Do what I want. Yeah. Um, so another piece of advice I would say is mm, I want to say something more along the lines of making more friends per se. I made a lot of mm -hmm. friends in college or I talked to a lot of people, but I wouldn't say I really like uh 
nourish those connections like that. And that's weird to say for me, because I think for a lot of my friends, I'm like the glue, like for different types of friends and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm more so the glue in the sense of just like keeping in contact type stuff. And don't get me wrong. I've had the deep conversations with a lot of friends and stuff, but for me, they weren't necessarily like crazy deep. They were just conversations almost like it was a deep moment, but it wasn't necessarily something that I was trying, like, like you said, with the connection type thing, I wasn't. And then it was just like so many people in college who I could have probably connected with or made like more friends and connections. So I would just say inside of that balance, make sure you open to like talking and networking and meeting other people. I definitely wasn't yeah. really good at networking. I kind of was just either talking to who came into my immediate circle and just making the best of that versus really putting myself out there. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. That's that's pretty that's pretty solid advice. Um, all right, so I got one last question and then we can wrap this joint up. Do you feel like and even let's just do it from freshman year, that freshman year person, because I know I came in a freshman year, I didn't even think that I didn't know where I would live. I had no idea about like like you know how you was like, I'm not going back to a high ski. I never Thought like, oh, you're not going back to Atlanta, or you're gonna stay in North Carolina, or you're gonna move to somewhere we else. We know that's that's had, that's different though. You coming from a from a, yeah, I know. I'm coming from yeah, the real A town. Like you coming from A town? For <laughs> sure. So, uh, but do you feel like uh, at this point in your life, you are 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 close to the person that you envisioned you would be like freshman year of college? Or even anything remotely close to that person or similar or um, past it, you surpassed it a long time ago or you're not quite there yet, either way. I think I am very close to the person I I thought I was going to be. But now I think that that person is completely different picture than what I was thought it was going to be. And I think um, even t- from talking to most of my friends, I think we all had a very similar mindset and almost like American dream conversation. Like we used mm. to talk about in college where I think everybody discussed the same thing where it's almost like, felt like everybody was on the same wave of like, Oh, I'm going to be married by 25, two kids and stuff by 30 or 32 and all this stuff. I'm going to have the house yeah. and stuff. So that's why I can say it's very different from that, which I'm not, I'm not mad about it at all. Um, but I think, I'm now not like limiting myself to I have to be a certain way in the future. I'm always leaving it open to being whatever yeah. I need to be for like the times uh, yeah, or absolutely. wherever my personality or the situation is taking me because like life changes just so quick. Like life changes, like a, a, a moment can like change your perspective in your life forever. And it's like, if you still holding on to this like expectation of who you should be, I think that's going to create some extreme anxiety for you of like, Oh my God, I'm off yeah. the beaten path of where I was supposed to to be. So I, tr- yeah. I try not to do that as much, but I, I definitely think I'm, I'm very close to like the kind of still the values, the the mindset, the the physical kind of attributes and stuff. I'm very close to what I envision, um, but yeah. still got to work on the family part. <laughs> still working on that. Still That's cool. That. That's cool. What about you? Yeah, um, I think that I kind of knew. I, the only thing I feel like I, I'm hitting a mark on, not the only thing, but one of the things I definitely feel like I'm hitting a mark on is like the level of freedom. Like I always saw myself as like doing what I wanted to do. Not like, I didn't know what it was going to be. I didn't know it was going to be as much travel or if I was going to be working like as an executive at a company. Like I didn't really know, but I knew like I would kind of have some bread to myself. Like I would be able to spend freely. I would be able to do freely. Like I wanted this level of freedom that I felt like I didn't get growing up and so that's that's I feel like I am at that point where I do have a, a lot of freedom to do what I want I was talking to somebody while I was in Atlanta not too long ago and he was saying like you are literally literally living free I live with you you are free as hell don't, don't worry about that you, <laughs> if you want to use the term hitting the mark you have passed that test multiple times my friend <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so I think I'm there I mean so, I never really had a clear vision of like what I was going to be, which I almost kind of wish I did. But when I was young, I was just, I wanted freedom. That's all I wanted was to be free. And so I feel like I'm definitely there. Um, There's more freedom to get, but I feel like I'm definitely there. Okay. What, what are some of the other marks? Like what, what else are you trying to get at? And I guess I don't like you said the word Mark. I don't necessarily like the word 
mark because okay. again I, it's nothing wrong with measuring yourself but again i just feel like that's setting you up to feel like you failing at something and you, you shouldn't yeah. really be feeling like you're failing at your life like <laughs> i don't i don't um i guess like in my mind i always saw myself as a, like a, a single parent i don't know why it's so weird um but i didn't think you were going there <laughs> Uh, but I think like now I don't even know if I will be a parent, you know what I'm saying? Like if I want to be a parent or, um, if I just be like a cool ass auntie forever. So those are the, some of the things that like, they weren't set in stone as far as like marks, but I just like, if I had to envision myself, I was like, Oh, I have like a little girl, a little boy just being by my side. We dress alike randomly and go to the park and everybody be like, Oh, y'all so cool. Like that's what I saw, but I don't really know if that'll even happen anymore. So. Those I'm confused. I, I I was really I don't know. I think <laughs> I just I think I just wasn't expecting you to go single parent. Uh, I, okay, I'm more so talking about your you as a person, just not okay. Like, uh, is there certain things you expected of how you would be as a person, not necessarily what you would have? Oh, like, I think right now you're okay, talking about okay. freedom yeah. and like stuff and kids and stuff, but I'm still talking about just you. You as a person, did you envision how you would be as a person kind of older? Yeah, I knew I would want to be like accepting, and I feel like I'm a very accepting person. Uh, I think that's something I still struggle with. Uh, it's something that I still work on like day in and day out. Um, I think I had a lot of influence of people like putting people in a box, and I sometimes revert back to that. So I, it's constantly uh, me pulling myself out of that mindset of like, don't put people in the box, but I knew I would be very accepting. And so I, I, that's one thing I'm still working towards that I, I put effort in all the time, but I, I do think I'm very accepting. So I think that's one of the things that I'm hitting as well. I don't really, again, I didn't really, I just wanted to be a fucking cool ass person. Like that was my biggest thing. Like I want to be cool. Whatever my definition of that is, whenever that is, I want to feel that. I want to feel cool all the time. And that's kind of where I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm hitting the mark. I feel like I'm a cool person, and so I, I like that. So I like that about myself, and I see that like, oh yeah, that came to fruition. Like you still cool, like, so I like that. Okay, stay cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anything else for the people, man? Um, if I would say anything, uh, if you haven't, uh, subscribe, like. Share, uh, follow Share. us on Instagram, uh, send it to somebody, uh, give us some feedback, comments, so anything you would like to see or discuss. Um, and check out the website and grab some merch if you'd like to. If not, again, some other things you can do. Follow, like, share, subscribe. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Zen Trap and we back, y'all. Uh, yeah, it's been another Zen Trap chat. I'm one of your two hosts, Yogi LG. Zen P. You can't do nothing else. Protect your peace. Protect your energy. It's the Zen Trap. Zen Trap. We out. We out. Welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap.